y'all? Right, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the vault Outfits mod, which is being made by user Eleonora. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is several lovely new vault tech styled outfits for you to enjoy, and they are wonderful, as you can see here. They are sort of that classic old-school styling of a dress and sweater vest, but have that full-on vault tech branding going on there, which is very cool. And if you are going hardcore in the vault tech styled survivor, they make for a fun little addition into the game. Now, being outfits, they aren't exactly the most protective things ever, but they do have some good bonuses, and, well, there are some modifications, which is always a good thing. We'll talk about those here in a little bit. Let's have a gander, though, at the first of the two outfits, which is this one right here, the vault tech sweater vest, which has absolutely no protection whatsoever in any form of damage resistances, but it will give you plus two to charisma for a weight of three. And uh, there isn't just one sweater vest. In fact, you get two different ones with either gray slacks or navy slacks, both of which, though, will be, of course, the same stats. Now, the uh, next outfit we have is the Vault Tech Dress, which, once again, offers you absolutely no damage resistances whatsoever, but, again, gives you that plus two to charisma. This time, though, for a lighter two wait for you to enjoy and this one comes with a few more variants of either the standard vault tech a patterned vault tech or a vault 76 81 101 or 111 version which is a uh, quite cool to have all those different variations for you to pick out just the one you're wanting to use and it is a pretty darn cool so you get quite a number of different variable outfits and I do want to point out these are in fact all uh, different outfits it doesn't matter if you go for the gray slacks or the navy slacks uh, they are not the same thing and you change them at a workbench they are in fact unique all on their own outfits and same thing with the uh, six uh, different dresses the fun little uh, thing to point out here as you may be able to tell from the different mannequins they're all unisex, so it doesn't matter if you're playing a male or female character, you can wear both of these slacks and sweater vest, or the dresses, so you can have a fun in that regard. Now, as for how you get your hands on one of these lovely things, well, there's no recipe to create them, so you either cheat by using the console, or you can find them in the world in three specific locations, the first of which being Vault 81 in the Overseer's Room. You can also find them in Vault 111 by the entrance, as well as Vault 114 again by the entrance. And you'll find them in a box where you'll get five of each of the eight different varieties of outfits. So all in all, when you're done from all three locations, you can have a 15 of each of these eight outfits, which is pretty cool. Now, as for modification, well, if we head on over here to uh, the armor workbench, all of them have exactly the same modifications that can be done. You can go into the miscellaneous category and add in some form of lining to add a little bit of actual damage resistance, which is always good. But more importantly, you can add in ballistic weave, and thus making this outfit actually semi workable armor which is pretty cool so you're not entirely defenseless and that is a uh, quite nice I do enjoy anytime an outfit will give you that ballistic weave uh, but yeah that's that's really it for this oh I should also mention that these are CBBE body slide compatible so if you do use that mod you can have a fun with the various body slide things there and these will work just fine but yeah they're just some cool little outfits for you to wander around the commonwealth in and especially on the dresses they're quite nice and flowy and who doesn't enjoy that 
but they are just fun little things for you to enjoy and sport the Vault-Tec branding around the Commonwealth. So if you'd like to have a look at this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But uh, that, my friends, is going to be it for this episode. Hopefully you all have enjoyed and you do come back for the next one. Hopefully we'll be having a look at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.